Hello, my Cincinnati field cellos. For this video, you're gonna need a piece of paper and a ruler or something that you can draw straight lines with. So we're gonna use the paper um, horizontally, not like this, but like this. And um, you're gonna need a pencil with uh, an eraser as well. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna use my little board and we're gonna get started. Are you ready to get crafty? I hope so. Okay, so first thing is we're gonna draw, we're gonna draw a staff. So at the top of your paper, try to leave some space and uh, we're gonna draw our first line. Then try to leave about half an inch and then let's draw the second line and so on. How many lines are in a staff? That's right, we got five lines. So let's get them all done first. Okay, awesome. That looks like a great staff and we're gonna do two of them. So again, leave some room in between and let's get started with the same process. Awesome. Okay, so what is the first thing that we see in our staff? Is it the clef or is it the time signature? It is the clef, good. So um, we're gonna count from the bottom up one, two, three, four, on the fourth line. Actually, let me stay with black. So on the fourth line, we're gonna draw a dot and then our base clef. And let's do that at the bottom staff as well. Make sure it's on the one, two, three, fourth line. Great. Now, what happens after is our time signature. So we are gonna have two options. You can write your piece of music either in 4-4 four, four, or 3-4. Um, so let's say that you're going to use um, a 4-4, four, four. okay? And let's say that you're going to have um, eight measures of music. So you want to sort of divide the measures in your head to have four measures on the first line, one, two, three, four, and then another four measures on the second line, one, two, three, four. Um, so we are going to add an ending line. So a thick line followed by a slightly lighter line. Okay, so let's say that you decided to go with four, four, now you can use any combination of rhythms here. So the remember if you use the whole note, that's the only rhythm that you will use for one measure because you, that will fill up the 4-4 four, four measure. Um, then you can use any combination of these rhythms. You can use a half note and two quarters or a quarter, two eight notes and eight 60 notes. You can use any combination of those rhythms. Now, if you decide to use three, four, the biggest rhythm value is going to be a dotted half note. That's gonna count for all three beats in one measure. Okay, and again, you can use any combination of these rhythms. Um, a half note and a quarter, or a quarter and a half note, a quarter note, two eight notes, and another quarter note, four 16 notes, and one half note, any combination that makes it up to three. So make sure that you're using your rhythm tree as you're going through this creation of yours and that um, you also make sure that you use enough variation of the rhythms. Now it's time to decide which key signature you're going to be using. If you want to have one flat, we're gonna be in the key of F major. And if you have one sharp only, you're gonna be in G major. Now, I want you to use um, any of these key signatures, okay? So you can also use two flats for a B flat major, 
and two sharps for D major. These are all keys that we've used a lot in class and you guys know very well. Um, so let's say that we are gonna use B flat major just for the purpose of this video. So we got two flats. The first one is B flat. So we have to put it right where the B flat is. So then the second line. And then the second flat is an E flat that goes on the third space. Okay, so now you got your time signature, you got your key signature, and you're ready to go. So we are in the key of B flat major for this one. Again, it's your choice. Let's say that we're gonna start with a B flat and just a quarter note. So this is where your cello can come in handy because I want you to start playing notes within this key signature and see what sounds good. So maybe after a B you play two Gs as eight notes and you like how that sounds, then you just keep going. Maybe a D half note after that, that completes one measure then maybe um, you want to go over here for another B um, and then down below here for an E flat eight note and then maybe back up here for let's see for two 16 notes and any combination of rhythm can work but you have to come up with your own Okay, so um, I'm gonna leave you to it. Get your cello, play, and figure out what sounds good to you and write it down. If you don't like what you wrote, you can do it again. Um, but I want you to fulfill eight measures of your own music. Okay, and once you have that, I want you to take a picture of the music that you created and to take a video of you playing that and send it to me. I would love to hear your pieces and let me know if you have any questions. Bye.